lacking. I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy. Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me. It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry. It's time to break up so I can make a better me. Better believe in your mind, cause it's everything. You can mold, shape, find almost anything. All it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity. It's mine. What's up, everybody? Welcome. <clears throat> wow, let's try that again. How is everybody doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hopefully you can hear me. Can you hear me? Hopefully you can. Welcome to episode 554 of the NAW. This is Nerd Elite Wrestling. In its second episode back here, we're continuing on in our tournament to crown the returning champions for the returning belts. One women's champ, one men's champ for the N.E.W. championships. We're getting down rather quickly in the women's division as we continue on in our bracket here, which will feature two matchups tonight. Jay Lees and Kaiva will be facing off tonight to head to what is really the finals of this tournament already in the women's division. So again, a smaller roster in the women's division, so we'll be getting down to the finals of that. So final four here tonight in the women's division. The other matchup, of course, 
Amber Sparks and Destiny, Mrs. Kaz, they'll be facing off. The winners of those two matches will advance into the finals for the NEW Women's Championship. We don't know if we're going to wait until the pay-per-view or just crown them next week. Who knows? It's really dependent on what I'm feeling as the general manager of this show. So, we shall see. Other matches here tonight include our big main event, Rampage, Deadly Knight, and Shane Maverick in a triple threat. Winner will advance in the tournament. We also have Kimo versus Igor. And backstage reports saying that he had a fever that had spiked before arriving at the arena tonight. They cleared him for whatever reason to compete. I wouldn't have. That's just my opinion. We should have kept him away from Kimo and other talents backstage. But uh, it's said that um, they'll be monitoring throughout the night. It's later on the night, so he may not compete. He may compete. We'll find out, Igor. Hopefully that fever reduces and he no longer has a temp. Right, as, as it might be, I hope that's not the case for Igor the Terrible here. Uh, but they said he was feeling sick. And uh, again, we'll do a temp check as the night goes on on him. Other matches include, it is concerning. It is. It's a plague. It might be. Thorne and Yuri in action here tonight. As the Venom Club looks to continue their takeover here on Tuesday nights. We have a triple threat. John Ewing, Atticus, and The Butcher. Will The Butcher finally win the first match here? And start a new venture in NEW as their time on NPC was terrible. So best of luck to Butcher here tonight. But he faces two tough opponents in John Ewing and Atticus. Something going on here. So many. Yeah, it's true, Lana. It's true. We just got off a loss. It's never good. It's never good. Jonathan Bell, Big Eric. And Jay Ray competing in a triple threat. Winner will advance in this one as well. Onwards towards the NEW Championship. Hot shit, Gavin Perry and Mr. Bang Bang Kaz with fellow members of Venom Club here supporting him at ringside tonight. That was approved. And then kicking off our show tonight, we got Flyboy in action against Slash and Psycho Black. This is going to be a dark match. Not technically a dark match, but more so like evil, spooky, dark. That'll be kicking off tonight's show. So we have nine matches, all tournament matches, as we march onward towards crowning new champions. This is episode 554. I'm glad you're all here with me tonight. Let's hope for a fun night of action, shall we? Let's kick off the show. Let's go. And we're live here, episode 554, Nerd Elite Wrestling, every Tuesday night. And E-Dub Chance going down. Thank you so much, Samson, for being here. Glad to have you guys with us, of course. And hope everyone's doing all right. It's supposed to be hot here this week. Hopefully the temperatures ain't rising for you guys. It's going to be near 100, if not over, for us tomorrow. So stay cool, stay hydrated, of course, if you're out and about. Or even if you're not out and about. Stay hydrated. N-E-W is live, though. 5.54 on a Tuesday. Thank you all again for the support here as we continue on. It's Rated Pyro. <laughs> it's been 100 here for the last couple weeks. No thank you, sir. Rosemont is our home tonight in Illinois. I will be heading there in just a couple short weeks myself. Can't wait. It's going to be exciting. So let's get the prediction polls here going for our card. Start a prediction. Yes, we shall. Let me get the right screens up. That would be helpful. Would it not? Prediction. Let me let me do my prediction. Alright. So who will win? Flyboy. Slash and Psycho Black. Predictions are live. Get them in. Get them in. To see nothing? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> so here we go. Predictions are live. We're opening contest. We got Flyboy. The following contest 
is a triple threat extreme rules match. Making his way to the ring from San Diego, California, weighing in at 225 pounds, Flyboy. So Flyboy here is a prospect, as a breakout talent here on Tuesday nights. Chicago seems sus. Might just be, who knows. Flyboy again, one of the newest talents to the show in general. I believe only their second or third matchup here. Winning this tournament would mean everything for the future of them. Losing is a risk of being lost into obscurity. This individual is in their way though. And let me tell you, I would not want to be facing them. The Cassiosaurus. Raider doesn't know who to vote for. And his opponents, first, from your darkest fears, weighing in at 368 pounds. The icon in other news, that's right. This Thursday, I did accept Icon and myself will be facing off in the main event this Thursday night. Last man standing, NAW Championship match. That is going down. Our next show Thursday. I did accept, and I'm hopeful for a good, clean fight. I don't know, though, with that Thursday night roster. Hard to say. But again, standing in their way here is Slash. What's up, Wildcat? How you doing, man? Here to bring the misery. That's how you do. And from the other side of darkness, weighing in at 228 pounds, Psycho. So another bit of a kind of upcoming prospect. They were a talent on NPC. We really not never got to see the momentum of them. So having them advance in this tournament as well is going to give us a great opportunity to see what they're really capable of. That's what this tournament really brings to the table for these talents. The ability to see what they have against all of the roster here on Tuesday nights. The best, obviously, will win this tournament. And they will showcase and show really why they deserve to be the face of Tuesday nights. This will be our opening contest, as mentioned, episode 554. The tournament continues as we march on to crown our next NEW champion. Just want to let everybody know I was the final NEW champion when we retired that belt. So I personally will be handing our next champion that belt. I'm proud to be hosting this show and to be able to hand over that belt to our next champion. Flyboy and Slash starting things off here as Psycho getting the worst of that exchange from Flyboy. They lock up into the corner. Landing multiple knees here into the midsection of Slash. Combination strikes from Flyboy. It's a great takedown. Into the cover. Slash and Flyboy locking up now. And again, Flyboy, the faster of the three in this match, or the fastest of the three in this match, clearly showcasing that. Showing that strength isn't everything. If you're faster than the person trying to land those heavy hits on you, you're going to win, it looks like. Cover on Slash here. This could be an early match. Two count only. What's up, True Deadshot? How you doing? Flyboy going up top rope, high risk. Oh, my. Incredible hurting himself in the process, though. Combination strikes, they lock up here. 
Hoist it up. Slam down. And stomps here. Working his way from limb to limb. Taking his sweet time. Psycho Black back standing. Thanks in favor to Flyboy, but a reversal now. Nice suplex. We got Slash Showboy. What are you doing, sir? That is not your style. I guess he's taking a moment to recharge. Flyboy again, the speed favoring this individual. We, we don't know a lot about them, but they're showing us here tonight that they are fast. One of our cruiserweights. Oh! Psycho attacked the ref there. I'm surprised he let that fly. He didn't even scold him. But going under the ring is Slash with a kendo stick as we had a fall away slam from Psycho Black there. Landed that knee effectively now turning his attention to Slash. Into the spine here of Slash. And to the midsection now. And lands another. Incredible agility here from Flyboy with the spinning heel kick. Too much for him. Cover from Psycho Black on Flyboy. Two count only. He kicks out. If you haven't got your predictions in, please do so. Nice, beautiful 450 splash. Backstanding right hand landed effectively. Knee to the face. Jeez. Reckoning stands backstage. He's always watching, always waiting. Two count there, Wolfpack. For life. Into the midsection flyboy here on Slash. What's he got in mind for him? Haven't been in one of these forever, he says. You never know. Oh, here we go. Slash warming up now. Kendo stick in hand to Psycho Black, though. What's up, Core Man? And in combination, strikes landing. Setting up what looked like could have been a snapmare, but face to his knee. Psycho Black combination, striking, landing on Slash. That spinning back fist, God! Pinfall to follow, referee way out of position though. That should have been three, but he took forever to get there. Slash should have ended that match. Flyboy got in there quickly, but referee was out of position. Landing multiple Muay Thai knee strikes there in that clenched position. Boots to the face, then landing another one. This man is on a mission. Slash rolling out of the ring to recover after the damage that was done there. We have Psycho Black and Flyboy in the ring, remaining face first into the buckle. Going under the ring is Black. What's he looking for? A sledgehammer to the hip. And then he faints at him. My God. Anything goes in this contest, clearly. That spinning heel kick, dropping Flyboy, the cover being made. Slash slow into the ring, but Black gave up the cover for whatever reason is. Slash out of the ring again. There's that knee. That's why he's out of the ring. He has a baseball bat in hand. Oh, God. And he missed. Oh. The referee just got missile drop kicked and gets back up. He just no sold the shit out of that. Into the cover. What is happening? We got one tough ass referee that's spinning heel kick there. Into the cover. Slashes down. Psycho Black could be advancing here. That'll do it. Chaos at the end there, but Psycho Black, the winner. Jesus. Only 3% favored them to win this.
He said, hey, that was my pick. You just won some nerd cred, my friend. Insanity. And yeah, you should always support both shows because you want that nerd cred. It's being told that both general managers are talking about the only way to get title contender matches is through redemption coming soon. We want to give back to our most loyal people and not just hand out title opportunities for the casuals. So you being here is doing you favors. So congratulations though, Psycho Black picking up our dub here, advancing in the competition. They'll be advancing in the next round. Let's take a look at what that means for them. I'm pulling up right now. So Psycho Black advancing. Psycho Black will be facing off against me. I see you. I'll be ready. I'll be ready. Our next one setting up here. He said, OMG, it's Henry. Yes, sir. What's up, Henry? It has been a hot minute, my friend. We will be welcoming Henry back to the active roster. That's right. They will be returning here. Our next match where we get set up is going to be Kaiva. And then Jay Lease. The real question is, what roster is Henry going to end up on? That's the biggest question here. Get your predictions in for our next match. Again, this is a tournament match. The winner of this will advance into the finals for the NEW Women's Championship match. So, most likely we'll be crowning that champion next week. Again, it all depends. If you redeem for a Twitch contender, when would that happen? Uh, next week. Yep, that would be next week. Twitch is exclusive to Tuesday nights. So keep that in mind too. We might be lowering the cost of nerd cred redemptions for title redeems because the general managers are discussing that being the only way for contendership matches to happen. We want to reward our loyals here and not just the casuals. So the more shows you watch, the more you're involved, the more you gamble with the predictions, the more opportunities you're going to have here on Tuesdays and Thursday nights. So, let us know. The following if you want to step up, spin wheel, making her way we will have that Thursday returning. Line, That'll be adjusted. Don't redeem for that dead shot. What's up, Kira? From Detroit, Michigan, Jennifer Simpson. Got to check out. Yes, there is a lot of talents here now, Henry. The roster as you knew it is different. They have stepped up the competition to such extremes that people that were notorious for winning constantly will give the example of MXG. Struggles to pick up consistent wins here. MXG was eliminated in the first round of the tournament, so that tells you what the landscape looks like right now. And this is also someone to look out for. Tokyo, Japan, the spider, Kaiva. Is she not coming down with them? <laughs> what is happening here? This must be uh, part of the fun new update. Hey, thanks, 2K. <laughs> Where's our competitor? <laughs> oh my. This is a new one. This this is a new one. I don't love the update score. And there hey there she is. She was hiding. Good lord. Alright. Tournament match here. Hope you get predictions in if you can. Winner will advance in the tournament, of course. Mounted strikes here from Jay Lee's. She was in the trench coat pocket. Wish there was a real Venom Club and they would go after Judgment Day. I think they would win. I think I think the Venom Club would win. In my opinion. That's just my opinion. So Jay Day is me. I don't know how I feel yet about Judgment Day. I was curious where they're going with Edge, but you know, hey. Thank you. 
Iron Man, you know? Got rocking. What's up, Iron? What's up, DC? Glad to see you guys all here tonight on Tuesday. Going high risk here. Kaeva deciding that it wasn't a good choice. Oh, God, that spinning elbow, though. That right there will drop someone. I'm honestly surprised the match wasn't over right there. If I was a betting man, I had all... Everything I had going all in, if you will, on the Venom Club in this damn tournament. Every member of Venom Club have advanced. Oh! Mistakes like that, though, that's not going to go over well. DC's at work. Hey! Getting paid and watching wrestling. Ain't nothing wrong with that. B Shep, 1987, everybody says Bill Goldberg is the greatest wrestler of all time. My six year old would agree with you. He's a big Goldberg fan. Countouts here happening as we continue on. Edge got kicked out, Finn Balor. Yeah. I mean, how do you guys feel about that? I have mixed feelings on that. I feel like they weren't getting the reactions they wanted, and Edge is just going to go back babyface and get his old music back. Which sucks because that new entrance music was really cool. But hey, if something's not working, it's not working, right? It happens in wrestling. I mean, how many times have we tried storylines here and it just didn't work? It's okay. Too soon? It did happen too soon. Uh, if no one else redeems your number one contender for the Twitch by default, um... I think so. I don't know. I'd have to work out specifics on that. Because ideally we want a match for it, right? I don't know, though. Seven here. Jay Lee's back in control. Let me, let me ponder on that, MX. I don't know. Because that makes sense if no one else redeems. But I don't know. Well, there you go. However, Ali is on Thursday, so they would be going after the DNA. So that doesn't work, unfortunately. It's good for that for Thursdays, um, but not for Tuesdays. Going. Oh, that kick! No, oh, good God. And that's true, Ollie does have a new friend coming soon, I was told. Um, you'll have to wait for Thursdays to see that. Uh, if you want to know what roster everyone's on, exclamation point list. That'll get you a link to the current roster. Arm submission here. The Disarmor. Oh, God. Top five greatest. Goldberg, Hogan, Flair, Sting, Alex Wright. It's a unique list. Are we getting another cat? Huh? Huh? Are we? I guess we'll find out on Thursdays. Hooks the leg, Jay Lee's to beat. No. Thank you for the command, Mr. John Ewing. Jay Lee's going up top. High risk move coming up here. Axe handle smash. Kind of a struggling here, to be honest. That knee, good God. Hooking the leg. Wow, with an upset. Jay Elise picking up the dub here tonight, advancing into the finals of the tournament. They, of course, will face the winner of Sparks and Destiny. Samson says, we've been training of course, though, for those that don't know, Samson is Mr. Money in the bank, so that is a good person to train with, but also the father of this individual. He said, knew it. Pay me. Here is your winner, That's a big win. Big win here. Let's update the brackets on that again. They'll be facing the winner of Sparks and Destiny next week for the championship. So good luck. And we'll find out later tonight who will be facing them. So stick with us here. 
Here's this by Venom Club. I mean, one person in the Venom Club lost. That's going to fuel their fire even more, in my opinion. An angry Venom Club is scarier than a dominant one. Because then they're not going to play nice or play fair. Trust me. That's how these things work. Bang, bang! We got Mr. Kaz. And speaking of the continued presence here of Venom Club, we have hot shit Gavin Perry. Yes, that's their name. But because the predictions, we can't swear in there. So we're just calling them Gavin Perry. Against Mr. Kaz with Venom Club here. We got another redeem. There you go. Billy Warren getting it in. So I believe, are they on Tuesday or Thursday? I have to double check which roster they're on. Which roster is Billy Warren on? I don't remember off the top of my head. I feel I should know. I suppose I could pull it up. Predictions, get them in. Let me pull up the roster list. Let's see. For pain. That's right. Let's do this. Radius is NEW. Thank you. Thank you, Radius. You already had it up. Bullet is MIA. I don't know where he's at. Twitch chance got me next. That's right. You are in line for that too. So stay tuned. I'll have a card as you guys continue to redeem here. But yes, Troy is in line. Unification match. NPC and Twitch are getting unified into one belt as NPC is on hold right now. Look at the yawns coming here for Gavin Barry. Scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Reno, Nevada. Weighing in at 166 pounds. Handsome Gavin Perry. There it is, handsome Gavin Perry. You surprised there wasn't any ringside action? You know, here's the thing about that. MX just see that's what you get for talking. Now you now initiated competitors. You, you could have been next in line. That's all right, though. Between the men, yeah, I, I'm shocked, too. Here's the thing with 2K22 as opposed to 19. I haven't noticed any management really getting involved with match as much. Have you guys experienced this? And we got Tortugas. Yeah, Con Air says the same thing. Have you guys seen any ringside action? Yeah, Zilch. I, I hope they patched that in because that made things interesting for, you know, heels to cheat and pull away the ref or the people out of covers or even get ejected from ringside uh, that stuff made things a little interesting in having managers other than having them just stand out there with you visually it's cool but we need involvement especially if we want an evil faction like this to be sold so cause comes out So this is interesting. Oh, he just walked right through a bullet. Excuse me. All right. You're already sick of seeing Venom Club. I mean, they're making their presence known. They're not messing around. Last week they were dominant. Unfortunately, coming up with an upset already here tonight. Will Kaz be victorious though? He took something. What did he take? He said, let me guess, bang, bang. That's right. Predictions, get him in right now if you want to gamble some of that nerd cred. Do what everybody else is doing. Redeeming for title opportunities here. That's how you get noticed. And again, Lana and I are both been conversating on the idea of that being the only way that you get title opportunities here. Again, rewarding our most loyal people as they should be the ones that get the title matches. Uh, the rest will be filled in with random booking of our choosing and then storyline, of course. If you have stories, please help us out with that. High risk from Hot Shit. Nice frog splash there on the cause, dominating the match early. We got Let's Go Cause happening from Troy here. Stretching out the spine with that face first into the canvas. Good God. Hooking the leg. Cover made from hot shit. Two count only. 
Dominance very early on here. Will the tide turn in favor? Will Kaz wake up? He needs to. Somebody get him a coffee or an espresso. He needs to wake up and quick. Because right now, hot shit dominating. Kick to the This man has no shoes. Top rope. Big splash, but knees up. There's the clothesline from hell. Nearly beheading the man in a cover from Kaz. Dos. Two count only. Kira says, come on, ha shit. Up on the shoulders. How refreshing, am I right? This thing's over. Wow. Henry, that is the biggest question. Who is going to be the first victim of your return? I'm excited for that. Send Tom Bob from the top rope. He said the cause line from Hal. You like that? That's right. Strike to the knee. End of days. In deep. Hooking the lag here. Uh-oh. Two count only. The standing shooting star from Hot Shit. And another end of days. This thing is done. Yeah, you can't survive back to back end of days here. Venom Club starting to fall apart here. They had momentum a week ago. All that seems to be lost. The Reckoning wants to face Henry. Oof. So many choices here. So many choices. We don't even know what night he'll end up on. Will Henry be a part of my roster on Tuesdays? Or will he be a part of Lana's on Thursdays? Gavin Perry. Big win here, though, for Gavin. Celebrating with his fans. And where did we get with the predictions? 64% for Gavin Perry. Let me close that out here. Don't make the prediction too long. Why is that? You want me to make him just five minutes? I can do five. I just wanted everyone to have a chance. So let me update here. Hot shit advancing in the tournament, of course. Who are they gonna face? Hot shit. They'll face the winner of our main event, Deadly Night Shane Mavic and Rampage in the tournament. So that's a big opportunity for them. Our next one though, we got Big Eric, Jonathan Bell, the real Jonathan Bell. And Jackson. So who will win? You said five minutes on these things? I'll, I'll put it at five minutes, it's fine. So Big Eric. We got Bell and Jackson. So predictions are live on this one. Get him in. What's up, Thorne? He said Big Eric for the win. Jay Ray. You got it. What's up, Thorne? What's up, Queen? Hey, Queen. Better late than never is what I say. I've said it a couple times, I think. You'll message why I say? Is it because everyone's, like, voting at the very end to try to sway? The following contest is a we'll do five minutes. Extreme Rules match. Making his way to the ring. Ray, do we work together? Canada, if, if you got some insight on people pounds. being malicious, Big we air the dirty laundry here. <laughs> people trying to cheat. Don't cheat. No, we'll do five minutes, see how that works. Spill the tea, name some names. We're just throwing names out there. <laughs> no, if I, if I think if I think I know where you're going with these people. And I've seen it too, that's why I quickly end the submissions at the end of the match, because I see people start to throw a bunch at a certain way to, to make some money. You don't see the predictions this time. 
Anybody else not seen him? Emma did it. <laughs> Predictions are live. Click the nerdy cruddy. It's true. Or if you click out, click back in, I don't know. I just work here. His opponent, Fight. First, Thank you for that. From Dayton, Ohio. Playing in at 200. <laughs> this game, they're not the tag champs anymore. And he has the tag belts. They lost to the Conjuring. Saint, 2K, fix your game, please. <laughs> uh, so, Asterix, the Conjuring are the tag team champions. Uh, they have lost the belts. Good steal the belt <laughs> from the Weatherman. It's true. That's the real Jonathan Bell. The real, real one. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. Lies and propaganda. Man, if you ain't about that, you ain't about NAW or these leagues, I tell you. AI wrestling leagues are all about lies, propaganda, and toxic. That's what we do. It's wrestling. Am I letting John Bell run this show, Vana? From Detroit, Michigan, weighing in. I don't even run this show. Pounds, My people do. Jackson. You. Simpson. The one watching does. You have control. She gets crazy. It does, though, right? <laughs> What's up, Ty? How's the tie guy? Hope you're good, man. I thought it was Cena. It's like a mix of Cena and like uh, late 2000s Chris Jericho. The problem is here. <laughs> here we go. I'm malnourished. One person will advance in the tournament and. <laughs> J Ray gonna take a breather here. He's gonna let these two battle. I don't blame him. My man just fell down. Why did you just fall? You and Twitch getting ready to brawl. Don't do that. You'll lose. Trust me. I tried to fight Twitch once. Didn't go well. Ooh, Alabama slam there from Big Arc. For pain. You've been training. I see this. Oh my god. He's just taking it to uh, Bell here, standing on the left. Now he's letting those two battle. Alright, J Ray jumped out to ringside and let these two oh, battle each other. Yeah. Like, Arik. Is it Eric Arik? Or A. Eric? Eric. Arik. You're gonna text it and it's gonna be the same. It's, you did your hair too, I Rob. Bell dumped out ringside. Jackson now trying to go after the big man. Cheap shot to the face there. The camera caught all of that. He's going top rope, high wrist. Big elbow driven deep into a cover. Bell back in the ring though. He's going to break this up. Yep. JB broken up the pin there. Again, coming off a tag team championship loss to AA Ron. Have you guys seen the trailer for Nope? Please tell me you have. Jackson here, combination chops. Landed effectively, mixed with elbows there. Samson says, yes! Nope, looks really good. I can't wait to see that. It does look sick. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Bell now returning the favor of the combination strikes. Eric back in the ring. A Aaron. Jeremy celebrating. What are you doing? Focus on the match. You're going to have it stolen from behind you. Did he run at him with a headbutt? He just took the behemoth down with a headbutt and a cutter into a cover on JB. Is the kid going to steal this thing? No. No. You've seen the trailer but not sure what's happening? Yeah, it's aliens and stuff. It was what it looks like. There was a UFO in one of them. 
Bell now and Eric battling. Bell dumped to the ringside. Jackson and the big man. Oh, God. This is going to hurt. Into the buckle. Face first. Big man, where is he headed? He's looking under the ring for something. Halted by Jackson here. JB now looking for something under the ring. He has a baseball bat. The X-Files is fantastic. Swing and a miss. Strike one. You know who the worst commentators are in the world? Baseball commentators. It is already one of the most boring sports to watch, and then on top of it, you have some of the most boring commentators. They need to get hyped. Like, literally every time there's a strike, they have to do, like, the soccer goal type announcing for that particular strike. Imagine four and a half hours of that. That's good TV. ESPN. Let's talk. I'll do baseball commentary. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. See, that's the hype you need. Knee to the back of Jackson. Joe Buck. I don't know who that is. Oh, he nailed that one. That's a home run. That shit's out of here. And he's continuing to hit. My God. The brutality. Y'all like violence and y'all make me disgusted. Because I like it too. Action on the outside continuing here. Big R and Jackson trained for pain. In other news, MXG won two Pokemon packs today and a collector's tin of Pokemon cards as well. I have some somewhere. If I ever find them, I'll let you know. Baseball bat to the knees there from JB to the kid. Goodness. If you got hired by MLB, you're going to be walking around looking like Michael with your money. It's not about the money. That'd be nice. It's going to be a solid, solid paying job. That's all I'm asking for. Swing and a miss! That's strike three! Ready! This year is the 15th anniversary. Oh my god, to the back of the head! Yikes. Is death? Hey, you know what you're getting when you get this show. Random loud outbursts of insanity. Man. Under the ring, Big Eric now. Match continue here. Snapmare takedown. Oh. Nice setup. We have a ladder. An STD. I know it was a Kanye reference. Get out of here. JB here. Oh, but he got caught into the power slam. Big Eric trying to win this thing. Jackson, get in the match. What are you doing, son? You're just letting it play out. He just let the match in, and he's mad about it. Are you kidding me? The big man advances. Ooh. The clap. Jesus. Big Eric with 7% of the votes advancing in the tournament here. Honestly, at this point, who's going to stop the big man? That is going to be a tough opponent here in this tournament. Let's see, where is here he landing? Is your winner, Big, Bad Eric. Big ass Eric. He will be facing the winner of Yuri and Thorn in the tournament. The intensity of this man, Jesus. He said, that's what we do. So the winner of Yuri or Thorn will be facing this behemoth. Jax, is he? He watched the end of the match. I, I, I don't know. It's unfortunate. It was a damn good match for all three, but this is the man to watch in this tournament. I'll be honest with you. So let's go to our next contest here. Another triple threat coming your way. We got Atticus, John Ewing, and The Butcher. Here's the biggest question of ever. Will The Butcher pick up a win? Ever. Will this be his first win? Predictions are going live. Get him in, get him in, get him in. And yeah, new Assassin's Creed game. 
the last few have been really, really good. Really, really big. That's what she said. And uh, I don't think I've completed any of the recent ones just because there's so much to do. Rated bragging out here. He got steak dinner. I had frozen burritos. And that was tasty. You had tacos. It is Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Here we go. The following contest is a triple threat extreme rules match. Old pork, hell yeah. his way to the ring, representing the family from Ann Arbor, Michigan, weighing in at 166 pounds, AJ. Honestly, a wild card of this tournament. My oldest son here, he has been around on this roster a long, long time. And we've seen him dominant in the tag division already. One half of the team that defeated the longest reigning men's team in the history of this show. Yes, that's right, Atticus and Theo took out the longest reign of good old JR. You're about 80 hours in, yeah, see, that's insane amount of content in the game. Yes, never count out this kid, to be honest with you. Assassin's Creed Valhalla like explored the Viking Age should be taught in schools. How historically accurate is it, though? I mean, how historically accurate is our textbooks that they give us, too, though? A lot of revision in there, you know what I'm saying? John Ewing here. And his opponents, first, from San Juan, Puerto Rico, weighing in at 272 pounds, the idol, John Ewing. Big man here from NPC, among other leagues around the world, looking ready to take over the NEW tournament and crown himself the next Nerd Elite Wrestling Champion. And he, look at that, he says, damn. I look awesome. Hard to deny all smiles here, though, but when he gets in that ring, all business. Ubisoft has their own personal historians. I mean, you would hope it's accurate, but... Uh, new, the development show? <laughs> we have the best talent. Are you kidding me? Chat will tell you. Who the best? We the best. This man, though. Conair's got a point. From Allentown, Pennsylvania. Joseph Storm, let's go. Three pounds. The Butcher. Anytime you guys want to compete here. Use that nerd cred. Redeem for title opportunities. Be involved. Show me you want to be here. I'll book you. I want you guys all to be the stars of this show, but you got to show me that you deserve and want to be the stars. Make me make you the next champion. Please, I'm begging you. Let me make you famous. We welcome anyone to compete here. And if you're uploading your characters, if you've never competed or, or are returning, NAW or NAW22 are our hashtags we use and we pull from all gens that are available as well as PS4, PS5 with the cross compatibility. So, if you want to compete, let us know. You said I'm just going to... It's okay. It's okay. Help me make you all famous, please. I'm begging you. I want to the butcher. See, this is why you lose, dude. You're just busy showboating into the ropes, hanging up to dry. Is the butcher here? Ewing and Atticus, no strangers to each other. Uppercut here. The referee needs to get the heck out of the way. Snapper takedown, drop kick to the back of the head of the butcher. Stomping out the butcher now. Who's ready to see the jobber of butcher? Has Butcher ever won a match? I'm trying to remember now, to be honest with you. 
If so, it's been a minute. Back of the spine there. Into a cover on Butcher. No, nope. he lets go. The, into another cover. Ewing. What is Ewing doing? He couldn't get an oh, elbow to the spine of the kid. Ewing now taking a moment to celebrate. Butcher locking up. Atticus outside of the ring to recover. Ewing dumped to the outside of the ring. He is 0-13. Yikes. You hate to see it. That's not good, man. Honestly, like, even iRob had a better record than that, and he sucks. Just saying. No offense. He never won. <laughs> Action on the outside now. Face first, almost into the steel ring post there. I don't know if he got all of that. He might have. Drops him to the back of his head there. Now Butcher and Atticus. Butcher dumped back in the ring by Atticus. Ewing laid out here at ringside. They lock up. Ewing celebrating again. A lot of showboating for this. Hanging up to dry. Butcher looking good with landing a few moves. He can wrestle. How well? Uh... Oh, double team. He just made them headbutt each other. You love to see it. Look at this man. He controlling two talents at once. Talk about total ring control and ring awareness of everybody in here. Hennick is turning his attention now solely to Ewing. I have a caramel macchiato. And some drinking coffee at 9 o'clock at night. That's what happens when you're old. Trying to get that energy going, you know? We had those strikeouts earlier. Baseball commentary, am I right? We want tables, Chance. Cause, where you at? Did he start that chant? It's true. It's true, Henry. One of these weekends, Henry, we need to get together again, man. Oh, God, steal! Share to the back of the head of the kid. Butcher here looking for violence. Belly to belly overhead suplex, but now Ewing has the chair. Oh my god. Yes! Coke is making a can jack and coke. I will try that. And it gets back in the ring. It gets pulled back out by Butcher. Reckoning asking, where's your boy running his mouth? Yuri. Uh-oh. Pump handle set up from Ewing here to the Butcher. Atticus going into the ring. Pump handle power slam. Atticus, the kid, has a ladder. Attempting to reach new heights here on NEW. Into the ropes, hanging him up to dry as the Butcher. Butcher turning his attention to Atticus. Oh! The jackhammer set up from his favorite wrestler, Bill Goldberg. Into the cover, this thing's over. No one kicks out of that. Oh, Ewing breaking up that cover. Blanking live musical, that sounds awesome. I love that movie. Amazing soundtrack, too. I bet you just can't wait to be king. Misses the chop there, Butcher taking the opportunity. The hang time on this one. Allowing Ewing to recover, though. Look at one arm. Show off. Ewing recovered. Backstanding Ewing and the Butcher now. Atticus summoning God. What are you doing, sir? Locking up. Oh, a double team onto the back of the ladder. Oh, but taking a dive here. Atticus in trouble. Ewing rolls out of the ring to recover. Butcher. Hanging Atticus up the drive. Butcher could be on his way for a victory. A victory advancing in the tournament. No way. Pinfall. Will the Butcher get... Two count only. That was close. Butcher here setting him across the knee. Has the leg hooked. Ewing breaking up the cover. 
Full Nelson slam there. Working on the right arm and elbow of Ewing. Atticus laid out on the other side of the ring there. The next Joker could be a musical featuring Lady Gaga. I did see that. I'm interested. Face first, planted down. Butcher turning his attention, but Atticus staying clear. Yeah, same. Lady Gaga is fantastic, and I'm a fan of the Joker, so it could be really well done, I hope. I hope it's like an insanity angle of uh, Harley Quinn, and everything's just like colorful and musical in her head, but the actuality of the world is super dark and menacing. But in her head, it's just a crazy musical. Because that'd be interesting to see. And it makes sense. Because she's insane, right? Leg hooks. Two count there. Reference is so needy, it happens. Under the ring goes Ewing here. Big spear from Atticus into the cover. Could this be it? Ewing there again to break things up. Oh, no! Jackhammer. Oof. Ewing. Two count from Atticus here. Are you kidding me? A kick out of the jackhammer. Not enough was put into that thing. Action continues. That makes sense, Rated. That makes sense. Wrenching on the wrist and fingers here. Knees to the spine. Gets caught by Butcher. He looked up and was like, oh, shh. He's in trouble. Ah, all the way down. Barely missing the steel chair there. Cover from the Butcher for a win. Oh. Two count only. Butcher turning his attention to Ewing. Oh, my God. Just ripping at the face of Ewing. What is he doing? He's suffocating him. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen, we just witnessed history. Butcher, what a match. Atticus is pissed. I just, I can't believe this right now. Only 8%. Somebody's getting paid. Wowza. I miss his pay me. 1 in 13. Butcher advancing in this tournament now. Oh my. Henry shocked. The world Here shocked. The moment the world stood still. Butcher. Look at this. Stumbling around. Oh God! I don't want to fight him. Congratulations, Butcher. Let's. I'm afraid now. Let's move on from that. Yikes. He did hear me, and he decided to win. An outnumbered man, Thorn versus Yuri here with Venom Club. Our question is, who will win, Thorn or Yuri? Thunder versus main event. See, this isn't the main event yet. You're saying it should be the main event? I didn't get through all the updates. No, I didn't even touch my uh, 2K game this weekend. I did not. I did not. I did not. Singer Butcher. Texas Chainsaw Master. I did see that icon. I did see that. Whose kid drew on his face? Oh, damn. The Battle of the Bees versus the Beast Water. I meant to get the updates, but I didn't. I apologize. It's okay. Yeah, DC is in the main event. This match was adjusted by the back and forth between Thorne and uh, Yuri in the locker room. Which, Henry, are you part of our locker room? 
Do you want to be invited to the locker room? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. You know, in all honesty, though, I think this will be more than one encounter between Thorne and Yuri. Weighing in at 250 pounds. I don't think this will be the only time. Because I know Thorne had something special for Yuri. So depending on the outcome of this match, we may be getting a rematch. Oh, and he, as he just said in chat, so. Again, we'll be booking, depending on the outcome of this, a rematch for this rivalry. Thorne, you shouldn't have spoiled See, now Kaiba is walking out. I'm so confused Yuri, by these entrances, to be the honest with you. We gotta have some rivalries, Thorn. I want to showcase our more involved people, you know what I'm saying? So I think a rematch, regardless of the outcome, needs to happen then. So we can see that attire. Yeah. Thorne's starting off aggressive here. On Yeri, again, if you haven't seen the back and forth in the locker room between these two. And he's got his retro attire on tonight. Of course, he has another special attire waiting for everyone. The King B. Yuri now trying to turn things around. Too close to bedtime. Dumped out of the ring is Yuri here by Thorne. Again, this is a tournament match, too. Winner will advance in the tournament. I'll have updated brackets out later this week for everyone to see as well. Oh! Frost here, attempting to be involved. He sidestepped and backstepped it. He's watching Thorne very closely. How did it feel to witness history? I think we're all a bit shocked, to be honest, that Butcher won a match. Honestly, if you're gonna win a match, win it when it matters in a tournament style. And yes, the winner of this takes on Big Eric. Somebody call his mama. He doesn't have anything against Venom Club. Yeah, here's the thing. They're getting mighty close to the action here. They need to give you space as the referee continues the count out here. Off the barricade, the spine. We're at six here. Dumped into Venom Club. They're scrambling. What is happening? Eight. Red eight. Nine. Are you gonna? <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> Bro! Alright. We need a rematch next week. <laughs> rematch next week. That's some bullshit. I'm not restarting that. Rematch next week. Let me make a note of that. Rematch. <laughs> oh no.
the hard one. Yuri failed to get in the ring. The officials called it. Oh my god. Like I said, hey, whatever the outcome is, now we have a reason to have an outcome. Or a rematch because of the outcome, rather. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. I am just beside myself here. I don't even know what to say. Uh, Igor versus Kima. Oh my god. <laughs> This is wild. of the United States government. Attacks by the undead have been reported in several states across the country. They include Massachusetts, Michigan, New York, Ohio, and Texas. The dead are rising from their graves and are attacking the human race. At this time, it is expected that more attacks of this nature will occur in several other states in the next few hours. The intent behind the attack is unknown at this time. He has been observed that a by or exchange of fluids is a method of transmission. If any of these things occur to you, you will turn into one of these creatures. This is an extremely dangerous situation if they crave the taste of human flesh. To protect yourself from potential effects, all residents of the United States are strongly encouraged to follow these instructions. Stay away from these creatures. Get inside a building with few doors and windows. Do not make eye contact with them. Doing this will incite attack. Seek shelter in a room above or below ground, preferably one that is blocked by several doors. Do not use any electrical devices, as this may attract them. Make sure that you take food and water with you to your place of refuge. It is not known whether this event will last for hours, days, or even longer. Stay calm, as authorities have been dispatched to deal with these creatures. An all-clear siren will be sounded when this situation is under control. We do have an update on the situation from Igor the Terrible from this afternoon. The fever has gone down into an almost chilling low. Uh, critically low body temperatures were recorded from Igor the Terrible as they got prepared to come out here for their match against Chemo tonight. We will continue to have a medical team monitor the situation after the match, but medical did clear them to compete here tonight. We don't know what kind of dangerous position that Igor or anyone in close proximity is. And I'm truly hopeful it's not related to that emergency broadcast that was just issued. Because uh, the timing of that is unfortunate. We do, of course, hope for the safety of our talents here. But medical staff has cleared Igor to compete. And we'll await the arrival here of Igor the Terrible. We got chemo chants happening already in chat here. Those who have not seen The Walking Dead won't survive. <laughs> Do we have confirmation that Igor's been spitting up blood? Why did the medical team clear this man? That's not okay. Oh. And his opponent from Kiev, Ukraine. Um. Weighing in at 350 pounds. The Terror. Um Come on, let's go. Yeah! 
I, I mentioned that the safety of our talents is incredibly important. And Samson, yes, great question. Medically cleared by the medical team. Um, antiseptic, I don't know if will be enough here. Yeesh. Russian ones. Oh, God. Well, here we go. Oh, it just smacked him in the back of the head. Igor the Terrible looking like Igor the Infected. <laughs> Sir. I don't even know if I want to be here at ringside calling this match tonight, to be honest with you. That's the biggest question. Is he contagious from the emergency broadcast? It sounds like yes. So this is a problem. The strength too of this man oh my god chemo is no small individual and he's just picking up and dropping him good lord Lysol we definitely need a ring crew after this match to disinfect the fly swatter might not work big right hands from Igor again to the smack smack in the back of the head atomic drop into a splash I'm just watching closely they did mention in the broadcast, the emergency broadcast, exchanging a body. Oh, shit! Um. I need disinfectant wipes. There's just some green shit that was sprayed all over him. Oh, no, he's biting him! Hell no! There is blood. This is not good. Oh my god. Holy shit. We're fucked. That right there, we're seeing a replay of the green mist. Oh my god. Yeah, whoever's coming up next in the ring, they need to clean and disinfect this ring. Here is your winner, the Terror. I don't even know what to say right now. Other than the dead are walking. And we hope for the best for Chemo here. We'll have medical staff evaluate not only Igor, but Chemo. Jesus. Our next match coming up, we got Sparks vs. Destiny. Predictions coming in. I'm just at an awe here for, for words. I apologize. That was not what I expected. Nope, yeah. Don't like that. Nope, nope, nope. That was hell. Sparks, Destiny are next in the tournament here. Get your predictions in now. I gotta update the last tournament. And, uh, again, just in, in utter awe of what, what happened here. That was, that was awful. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match. Making her way to the ring from Hartford, Connecticut. The Blueprint, Amber! So the winner of this match will head into the finals of the tournament to crown a new NEW champion. The winner will face Jay Lees, aka Jenna, in the finals. So either Sparks here or her opponent Destiny will advance. 
And most likely that'll take place next week on the card. Samson feeling sick already and they made no contact. We don't know how infectious this is, but uh, I am very concerned for the well-being of chemo. Bodily fluids were exchanged. Yeah, they're not, not looking good, King. You hate to see it. Man. What's up, Cody? So, Cody, I was just mentioning earlier in the broadcast, uh, talents will only hurt themselves as we'll have redemptions be the only way for contendership matches probably starting as soon as next week. So for anybody that even wants a title shot here, you got to spend those nerd cred. I might lower the costs, but that's going to be the way they get ahead here. For the rest, we'll fill in the empty spots when we can, where we can. What's up, 21? Here we go. Quarterfinals. Or excuse me, semifinals of the women's NEW bracket here. Sparks Destiny. Working on the right arm. Going high risk is Sparks here. Big airtime with the splash into the cover. This thing could be over. No. I mean, honestly, we're speechless with Igor here. We didn't know what to expect or what happened. And again, we're going to be keeping a close eye on the health and well-being of Chemo. We don't know what's happening with them. Stomp! Both feet there. Almost... This, Jesus, Sparks is just woman handling destiny here with another cover. Holy hell! What is this, Squash Central on Tuesday nights? Well, Sparks heading to the finals of the tournament for the NEW Women's Championship. An incredibly quick matchup. Not a good time. It's it's never a bad time. Twenty one. How do you join? Hashtag NAW twenty two. Upload. Join us on Facebook. We have a Discord. That's how you get involved. Every Tuesday, every Thursday, we're live. And then you can also send us a whisper or join us on Facebook. Nerd Acumen Wrestling is the main brand if you want to join us there. Congrats to Sparks, though, headed to the finals of the tournament for the NEW Women's Championship. Chemos. Update on chemo. Paramedics have been called ambulance on its way. We'll be keep, hopefully keeping a close eye and an update on that situation as it plays out. Uh, just absolute tragedy what happened here. Igor cleared to compete. I'm not sure how or why. We should probably check on the staff members that cleared them to see if they're okay. And then our next match here, of course, is another tournament match. Deadly Knight, Shane Maverick, Rampage. Winner will advance in the tournament. Get your predictions in now for this one. Yeah, I'm, I'm just shocked by, by that match still. I, I was not expecting that, to be honest with you. Truly never know what's going to happen on Tuesday nights now. Triple Threat Extreme Rules Match. Making his way to the ring from the Bronze Age. Weighing in at 270 pounds. Night. Thank you for that, Emma. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Deadly Knight, one half of the Knight's Army here on Tuesdays. Thank you, True Dead. I am going to be spending some time tomorrow getting updates. So please submit your characters and updates if you can. I'll be making some changes. I'll also be purging some inactive people. So it happens. It's okay. And then I'll be making adjustments to the cost of how to redeem for title opportunities. So if you do want to compete for belts, you can within an affordable manner. Otherwise, just be involved here. Show up. Hang out with us. Be involved on our social media between shows if you can. So if you can't make a show, just show us you care by being involved on social media. And let us know we should book you and why. Weighing in at 332 pounds, Raymond. Rampage here, also one half of a tag team of Savage. Savage on Thursday nights. Rampage here on Tuesdays. You're starting to see a trend. I signed a lot of big boys. Dominance. Because eventually we will face off against Thursday nights in competition at pay-per-views for brand rights and bragging rights, really. The bigger men will prevail. As we're proving. And it's true, I mean, it's true. Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Bigger the better. Two hundred seventy pounds. Shane Maverick. In my opinion, a true standout here on Tuesday nights. If I had to make a pick for this match, I would like to see this individual do well in this tournament and advance here tonight. There's a lot of potential in Shane Maverick. Focused and determined here. Unfortunately going against two behemoths of men. And Thunder voted for this guy. Honestly, that's, that's where my pick would land too if I was voting. Horror games? Yes, yes. Mega Chunk, that's right. I love horror games, especially Japanese psychological horror games. There he is. DC says, let's go, Shane. Taking a moment right here. Crowd reaction, very positive. I mean, I'm, I'm up for anything. I don't PC game. Everything I do is console. So, it'd have to be something accessible there. I, I've heard about the query. I, I, I've, I've heard mixed to positive reviews on that. Convenience store is scary. Yeah, I've heard mixed to positive. I need to check it out for sure. I just got the patches for the Resident Evil games. I'm excited to play through those again. Those are all optimized for the new console. As well as all the updates coming for Village this fall. I'm super excited for that. Maverick here, Deadly Knight Rampage laid out in the early goings of the match. Alabama Slam. See, look at Maverick. In uh, I was going to say in complete control momentarily in control until the big man got a hold of him fall away slam good god elbow drop from deadly working on the left arm there of maverick deadly turning his attention over to rampage now they might be slower but the power of these individuals leg drop from deadly the medium size of this matchup. Nice uppercut there for Maverick. Maverick looking fantastic. Needs to pay attention to the match though. Dumped out to the apron. Deadly and Rampage now. Rampage with a knee. Springboard forearm. Could have been a forearm or a fist. I'm not sure. Couldn't catch all of it there. Deadly rolling out of the ring to recover as Maverick taking control on Rampage here now. Nice Luthez 
press here, mounted strike. Oh, what does he have in mind? We head to the corner here, camera angle changes, Rampage is in trouble. Big spare takedown. Oh my. Into the cover, but let's go of the pin. What are you doing and why? To the back now. Big right hand. Up on the shoulders of Maverick. It's out. Deadly and Maverick here. Pulling him over to the corner. Referee in a really bad position. To the back arm here. Right hand. Deadly and Rampage. Rampage into a cover on Deadly. Up on the shoulders. Maverick with the cutter. Maverick pin. Deadly breaking it up. Maverick with a kick to the midsection. But Deadly reversing it. Suplex. Deadly and Maverick now. Leg switch takedown. Planted him in the canvas. And broken up here by Rampage. Into the cover. Rampage going out of the ring. Deadly Knight for the win. Two count there. Rampage down, busting him open with that one. Maverick is laid out, but Rampage gets right back up. He no sells that one. Maverick in security. Deadly with a baseball bat. Deadly in to break up the cover there. Taking out Rampage. Maverick turning his attention to Deadly. Deadly on the shoulders of Maverick. Hanging him up to dry in the ropes. Maverick and Rampage now. Oh my. Alabama slam. Yes, sir. Maverick taking out both big men here, but deadly trying to make a comeback. Rampage and deadly now locking horns. Gonna head for the trifecta here. Meanwhile, Shane Maverick resting in the corner. Nice suplex to end that. Oh God, wrenching on the face of Maverick. Rampage here. Maverick's in trouble. He can't breathe, he needs to fight out of this. He let go, but now a cover. He says, that's my move. Pan from Rampage to win. Yikes. Another big man advancing here. And some highlights here of our main event of 554. Says I have some shit luck. <laughs> Here is your winner, Raymond Page. It's a big win, though. Advancing in the tournament here is Rampage. Congratulations, sir.
Got to call the internet. Yeah, I don't know what was going on. All of a sudden, we just dropped crazy frames. So I don't know what happened there. I closed out a bunch of things I had open, but who knows? But ladies and gents, this has been episode 554. We'll be back on Thursday for another episode of NAW. I'll be posting in chat some of these changes that we'll be making too on how title shots and redeems are going to work, especially if you want to get booked here. We're going to be rewarding those involved. For those not involved, well, I don't know what to tell you. But for those that do show up, honestly, thank you so much for your continued support. I appreciate you all being here. And stay cool out there. Stay hydrated, of course. And I'll see you guys Thursday night, 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you do want to join or if you want to update your character, hashtag NAW22. I'll be checking that out there. Uh, but other than that, thank you all. And until next time, have a good night, everybody. Peace.